Hi everyone, I'm Arnel. Today I'm gonna teach you 30 super common phrasal verbs that you can use every day. Did you watch my first video, 30 super common phrasal verbs? I'll put the link down below for you. Okay, let's start. Chapter one, the travel blogger. Okay, I'm a travel blogger. Last month, I went hiking in a rainforest. I wanna show you my favorite picture. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, stop. Definition, scroll down. You go down your screen. What's the opposite? Scroll up. Scroll up, stop. That's my favorite picture. It's a bit small, so let's zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in. You can see the orangutan is holding a piece of fruit. Zoom in, definition. You make an image bigger because you want to see the details. So we can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, 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 time out, time out. We've already looked at four phrasal verbs, but if you really want to learn phrasal verbs, there are three things you need to keep in mind. Number one, some phrasal verbs do not need an object. For example, can you please scroll down? No object necessary. Some phrasal verbs need an object. I wrote down my ideas. In this lesson, I will underline all of the objects so you can clearly see them. Three, some phrasal verbs are separable. This means you can put the object in the middle if you want. I wrote down my ideas or I wrote my ideas down. Both are perfect. If a phrasal verb is separable, I will put a little S next to it so you know. Okay, let's keep going. Right, before I publish my blog, I need to do a few things. Let's look at my to-do list. I need to upload the pictures, write a 500 word article, and think of an eye-catching title. Eye-catching is a great adjective. It means to get someone's attention. I've already uploaded the pictures. I can check that one off. Check something off. Definition. You write a check mark next to something you've completed on a list. I've already written the 500 word article. I can check number two off. Notice the S. Okay, I still need to think of an eye-catching title. Assistant, write these ideas down. Write down. Definition, to write something short on a piece of paper. For example, your appointment is scheduled for 8 a.m. on the 3rd. Would you like me to write that down for you? No thanks, I'll just put it in my phone. We can write something down or we can jot something down. Same thing. Write these ideas down. Jot these ideas down. Okay, eye-catching title. Arnell's Rainforest Adventure. I don't like it. Cross it out. Cross something out. You put a line through something because it's a mistake or you don't like it. I accidentally wrote the wrong date. No problem, just cross it out and write it again. Mm -hmm. Colorful pictures in a sea of green. I don't like it, cross it out. Um, let's see. Oh, 
I don't know how many titles I thought of, but I started to get really frustrated. So I ripped up the list. Definition, rip up. To tear something soft into small pieces. My dog loves ripping up toilet paper. I love ripping up bread and putting it in soup. Okay, after a few hours, I ended up choosing this title for my blog. My camera, turning a rainforest into a rainbow forest. Huh? End up. End up is a complicated phrasal verb. Definition. Eventually, something happens and the ending is surprising or unexpected. Do you remember Darcy Hill from high school? She ended up marrying Paul Miller. If I just said she married Paul Miller, that feeling of surprise isn't there. We couldn't find a free room in a hotel anywhere, so we ended up sleeping in our car. I know Aaron loves his motorcycle, but one day he's gonna end up in the hospital. Let me know in the comments below. Do you understand how to use end up? Can you maybe give me an example sentence? Chapter two, organizing an event. I'm organizing a team building event for my company. Team building is when a company organizes an hour, a day, or a weekend for employees to have fun together and become a closer team. So team building can be in an office like this or something outdoors like, like this. The good thing about team building is that everyone is working toward the same goal. Work toward, definition, to work to achieve a goal. My cousin Winona is working toward a degree in engineering. Mini note. Toward without the S is the preferred American English spelling. Towards with that S is the preferred British English spelling. Both of these are the same and you can choose which one you want to use. They're the same. So I thought hiking would be a good team building activity. Don't worry, we're not just gonna be hiking and getting dirty and muddy and sweaty. We'll be staying in a beautiful hotel. We check in on the 20th and check out on the 22nd. Check in. You arrive at a hotel on the first day and you get your key. What's the opposite? Check out. Definition. You leave the hotel on your last day and you return your key. Check in and check out are phrasal verbs, but they're often used as nouns. For example, on a hotel website, check in is at 3 p.m. and check out is at 10 a.m. Organizing an event for 20 people is not easy. I've spent weeks juggling everyone's schedule around so nobody misses out. Juggle around and miss out. Let's start with juggle around. First, this activity here is juggling. The verb is juggle. You can see the balls moving in different directions. Imagine that, but on a schedule. Juggle around, definition. To move people, dates, appointments, so everyone is involved. I'm trying to juggle around a few students so I can teach everyone before my vacation. I asked my secretary to juggle the clients around on Monday because I need to leave work an hour early. Miss out. Definition. To not be involved. I don't want anyone to miss out on this hiking trip. I work the night shift on the weekends I always miss out on my friends, get-togethers, parties, and any fun weekend stuff. So we can miss out, stop, I don't wanna miss out, or we can miss out on something. 
Hmm. If it rains, the plans will still go ahead. Go ahead. Definition. The plan continues even though there are challenges. Common mistake. Go ahead does not mean yeah, keep going. It isn't used to give motivation. Bill is really sick. I don't know if the negotiations will go ahead without him. I don't know if they'll continue without him. Okay, this is the best part about the weekend. The company is giving away three thousand dollars to the team that completes the hike the fastest. Giveaway definition: to give something to someone for free. But we don't use giveaway with gifts. I wouldn't say it's Sandy's birthday. I'm giving away a book. We give away things we don't want or we don't need. Hmm, where's that cute dress you sewed? Ugh, I gave it away. It didn't look good on me. So it's three thousand dollars to the winning team. If a team decides to give up, they have to work an extra Saturday. Give up definition. To quit something because you are tired or you have no motivation. You'll see a picture like this online a lot. Never give up. This means never quit. Apart from the hiking, the employees can hang out around the hotel. Hang out. Definition: to spend time with people, doing nothing important. I think most employees. Will want to hang out by the pool. My friends and I hung out at a cafe for a couple of hours because it was raining. <laughs> you know, I didn't organize this whole team building event by myself. I worked with one of my colleagues, Zoe. To be honest, um, Zoe isn't the easiest person to work with. <laughs> In one of our meetings, I got so angry that I stormed out of the room. Storm out. Definition: to leave a room in an angry way, kind of like you're a storm. What did you say to me? We can say storm out. He stormed out, or he stormed out of plus the place. Chapter three: Living with your parents. This is my mom. I heard you lost your job. Yeah, the company closed, so I'm looking for a new job. Hmm. I think you should move in with us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, thank you. I moved out when I was eighteen, and. That's how I like it. Definition: Move out. You leave a place. You leave your home with all of your things. What's the opposite? Move in. You go to your new home with all of your things. My neighbors are moving out. I'm really gonna miss them. I hope someone nice moves in. Let's get back to the conversation with my mom. Um, thank you, mom, but I'm I'm not gonna move in with you guys. It's the best thing to do. You can save money living with us. Do you even have any money? You're always wearing the same shoes. You will never talk me into moving in with you. Talk someone into something. With this phrasal verb, it's a set structure. The person always goes in the middle. Definition: to convince someone to do something. You manage to persuade someone. I can't believe Jamie talked me into going bungee jumping. I can't believe she convinced me to do this. What's the opposite? Talk someone out of. Something. 
I'm trying to talk my best friend out of quitting university. <laughs> my brother lives in a tiny apartment and he wants to buy a German Shepherd. How can I talk him out of it? How can I convince him not to do this? So, I'm moving in with my parents. Why do you have so many boxes? Are these your boxes? Or your boyfriend's boxes? Um, they have one rule for me. Be home by 10 p.m. <laughs> Which is kind of ridiculous because I'm an adult. I usually sneak out when they're sleeping. Definition, sneak out. You slowly leave a place slowly and quietly so nobody sees you. What's the opposite? Sneak in. I sneak in before they wake up. The meeting had already started, so I sneaked in. It looks boring, so I sneaked out. So we can sneak out or sneak out of plus place. One thing my parents do is stock up on a lot of essentials. They stock up on toilet paper. They stock up on detergent. They stock up on flour. Definition, to collect a large supply of something so you can use it in the future. When my favorite shampoo is on sale, I like to stock up. You know, living at home isn't easy. Um, whenever I take something out of the fridge, my mom immediately tells me to put it back. Take out, definition, to remove something from its place. What's the opposite? Put back. My daughter took out the markers, but didn't put them back. So we can take something out, or we can take something out of plus place. You can't just take out a piece of chocolate, taste it, and put it back. Gross. Okay, I've been complaining a lot about my parents, especially my mom, but living at home isn't all bad. I do get to pig out on my mom's good cooking. Pig out. Definition. To eat a lot in a short period of time. After picking out all Christmas, um, I decided to go on a diet. Do you like to pig out? What's your favorite pig out food? Mine is ice cream. Okay, there you have it. 30 super common phrasal verbs that you can use every day. Don't forget you can check out my first video, part one, 30 super common phrasal verbs. And I can't wait to make another video for you. Thank you very much. Bye!